<laughs> Tommy, it was so nice to meet you at that Commodore grocery store in 2007 and find out that you saw the Palm All Red 100s too. <laughs> he smoked, he smoked Palm All Red 100s too, and that's before I ever came that's here. That's a sign you went ass, you know what I mean? He smoked those. And was smart enough, sorry I'm getting my props. What is that? Oh, what's that's up? weird. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? Oh. Uh, I guess you have to use them fresh. <laughs> How long were they in there? You were able to quit smoking and I haven't yet. But maybe something. <laughs> <laughs> this is really sad. Oh, um, what is that thing? What is that? Come on, bro. <laughs> it was nice that my uh, my girlfriend Brenda tried to stay to hear me read for the first time, but the painkillers kind of did her in. But she's being driven home safely by Saint Ian, who is our Uber driver poet. Ian is a saint. He's the one that told me about this place. He's wonderful. This is for you, Tommy. Oh shit. The narrative got out of hand when the ghost showed up, haunting the syntax and semantics of everything important to me. So now I'm dancing at the gallows with my gland in my hand. Kill me with a heart on, motherfuckers. I'm sure to return as a slug. As you salt me, I'll stay in love. I believe in slugs because I've talked to them, and dandelions because I've plucked them, but everything else requires faith, and that's a story with an unreliable narrator, kind of like this one. Life was like one of those old folk songs you can't really tell who loves who, and when you do, it's ambiguous because the blues and medications made us crazy. This beret I'm wearing was made by tiny children in the Czech Republic. While alive, I had such a wandering eye that while kissing my wife after our I do's, my left eye wandered till it found a home on the preacher's wife's ass. <laughs> then I'd go home and watch my favorite YouTube video, Tommy, Obama and Hillary licking ice cream cones in the sunshine, summer 2009. The ghost was right. I should have listened to her, and I ain't gonna jerk off till Easter. <laughs> Last time, I wasn't mentally well. I was something else. Devil's falsetto, blizzard of crows, brain raging, strange, drained bouquet, rainbow craving gray, lapping malt liquor tincture, and bellowing its truth. A weird workhouse for a nothing sky, ranting against whisper and mantra beneath tree, breathing war into biography, and something more, a something else, a cry for human help. And all over India overheard, this bird is fucking hideous! Hideous! We've become the old people fumbling to make love, receiving what the bodies allow with a punchline and a smile. Meanwhile, close that window. I don't want no truck drivers see my baby naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, honey, the first dandelion, the first dandelion of spring, she says. Give it. Hold it under your chin. If it reflects yellow, you're in love. Mama had a baby and its head popped off. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Despite my weirdness, I'm more than serious. You want a story? I can't be bothered to tell you one. Two mirrors loved each other, each reflecting the other's perfection. One got broken. The other kept reflecting the broken other. Eternally, that mirror is me. Twas another spring break of skinny dipping in my own literature. And uh-oh, I just put Russian dressing on my salad. Goddamn right I'm influenced by Anak Matava and Dostoevsky. You got me! I'll take a happy, mediocre person who generally stays out of my brain and sometimes helps with a well-timed smile over a thousand sour geniuses bitching about tipping points. Oh, grand. Now the baby who died is accusing the baby swarming with flies of staying alive privilege. She preferred the mystery over the doctor, the spirit over the law, the all-night burning bush over the sleep. 
She cackles as she creeps in a field of crystals and sage. I'm becoming allergic to more as I age. The negative road is dark and dull, and so are its travelers so fucking boring. I'm thinking down my road with the low moon and the neon, the shoes and dildos hanging from the power lines, the jazz mama with the broken heel and the asinine chatter of the people. Go fuck yourself, she said when I didn't materialize a cigarette. I would if I could, I said. Not flexible enough. IRS said pay till you pass away. The bathroom mirror said it's either allergies or something a little more final like consumption or walking cancer. My co-worker Lynn didn't survive the final nutcracker. I liked Lynn. It would be an honor to die on the same toilet as him. Eleven of fifteen actors in Mamma Mia! musical thanked their supporters for unwavering support. Really? The word unwavering never applies to the human. Human. We're always fucking wavering about this and that, this and that, love, hate, free will, fate. Only thing I know that's unwavering are the microorganisms feasting on my very being. And I'm finally seeing that selecting a consciousness fetish made me a freak. And I'm finally seeing everywhere I turn in the universe out of order. And I'm finally seeing, due to auto-tune, they can now make a tone-deaf moron like Uncle Charlie sound like Lady Gaga. <laughs> Authentic singing is finished. If only we'd lost wo the War of 1812. I'd need no passport for Canada. I'm old enough now that the only reason to stick around is to celebrate the achievements of others. So if you achieve something, anything, please text me. Even if it's just setting a new personal record for consecutive days lived. Text me, let's thrive like the dolphins thrive. Just posed outside, head cocked to the sky for God's daily photo shoot. Shit, man, I'm eye candy for that cat. She can't get enough, gobble, 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 says her eyes. I'm too old now to lie. Poets are cosmologists of bullshit. I almost lied by saying poets are cosmologists of nuance, or poet mind is microscope and telescope laser focused upon the subjective, or the shape of the simulation is irrelevant. I'm glad I'm in it, but I'm too old for that bullshit. Alone now with the mind's end time hieroglyphics and seen by the light of little white petals, I want my Burger King crown now! The ghost promised me one I never got while young. Now and then someone says that my writing is important, but I don't take that ego bait. The only thing about my writing that's important is it routinely keeps me from killing myself so I can stick around for those who want me to stick around a little longer to drink with them and smoke with them and jack off with them. But not till after Easter I keep my promises to Jesus. Anyway, I took a few spiritual steps backward today, substantially damning my chances for bodhisattva advancement. Again, I tried looking up the skirt of a painting. Nice. My new stage name is Bobo the Simpleton. Good night, Portland. Thanks. No musical accompaniment, I just want to put that out.